Yeah, greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Some time ago, I made a video on how to use OpenShot to make a screen video slideshow. This is version 2.51 <coughs> on Ubuntu. And let's get started. So first thing I need to do is import files. And I'm going to import them from this folder here. And let's try control A, open. Yes, and let's see. It doesn't like these pictures for whatever reason. I don't know why. It's certainly taking its sweet time. Of the twenty, uh, of the twenty, it got what is, looks like seven of them. I don't know why. So let's go ahead and import the ones that did work. I'm going to add to timeline, and I get the choice of selecting the track. I'll use track five because I can see that, <clears throat> and I'm going to use a fade, fade in. And image length, I'll give it six seconds. So now I've got uh, audio track at tw or the total length is 26, uh, 26 seconds. So let's cancel that. We'll take a look at the audio file that's in here and see if we can get the file properties to tell me how long this track is. Audio, it doesn't tell me. That's a bummer. Yeah, it doesn't tell me how long the audio track is, which is a significant bummer. So let's see what happens if I just drag it down here. And so it looks like the audio track, let's see if it displays it now. No, it still doesn't give me the time, the amount. Ah. Two one five six four. That's the end. So I'm assuming that's seconds. That's pretty close because uh, sixty times four would be two hundred and forty. So two one five six four is the number of seconds. That's what we're looking for. So let's add. Let's import our images so that they are. Uh, let's go here. What happened? It just rolled. Okay. Uh, so let's get these images. I'm using the shift key. I'm going to ignore those because there's some sort of problem with it. All right. So 21564. Let's import these. Ah, add to timeline. Control W. And now we're aiming for 21564. So let's see what happens. I'm going to include the fade. Um, and we'll go and we'll use that. So image length is 6. All right, we'll go ahead and run that. Import. Click OK. That should work. And did. Oh, and it imported it onto track 5. 
Is that going to be a problem? Let's play and see what happens. Yes, it's going to be a problem because it keeps trying to jump. The video tries to take over, so let's go there, and now let's play. Okay, not bad. Um, <clears throat> so I just selected all of them. Let's see if I can control V. Control V. Control V. I can't tell if it's working or not. Oh, something happened. Control C, Control V. Let's try pasting. Pasting is not responding. In fact, the whole system is not responding. We're getting errors. This is uh, the terminal. Yeah, not responding. Wait. Let's see if I can play the video here. Okay, so it really doesn't like it. Um, I've got 16 gigs of RAM on an i5 CPU. Um, it's not the fastest machine out there. Uh, it was 10 years ago, but that is not the case anymore. So let's try again. We'll start from zero and just simplify. Um, I'm going to keep the images. I'm going to delete this. And let's go ahead and import add to timeline. It should give me the option. Track four is what I want. Click OK. And now the images are already there, so let's go ahead and play. Playback is poor, but let's go ahead and just render what we've got. And I'll just use the default. Let's see if I can find the desktop. There it is. And export video. Let's see how long it's going to take. Well, it's going to take uh, quite a bit of time. I'll pause. I just checked the terminal for open shot, and you can see I'm getting uh, quite a few errors in here. And we're back. Uh, total elapsed time, <coughs> almost five minutes for less than five pictures and a little bit of video. Again, on a uh, i5 with 16 gigs of RAM. So click done. Now let's take a look. The audio is the audio is terrible. So let's find out where this file went. Okay, the output is not bad. Um, your mileage may vary. Uh, let's take a look at what we're looking at here. 
and this is OpenShot 2.5.1. Thanks for watching and happy computing.